This is TTM TV. We are here at Pullpack Asia 2012. I'm here with Manu of Clearpack. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you have here at Pullpack this, this year? Uh, what we have at Propac this year is this uh, pick and place case packer, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, quite a flexible equipment, yeah. you know, and can be used for uh, picking and placing mm -hmm. of uh, various containers. It could be cans, uh, for example, right now, yeah. but it could be reconfigured to do plastic bottles or plastic containers or glass containers mm -hmm. and put them into cases or trays or crates, yeah. you know. So basically, pick and place application mm -hmm. for end of line end of automation, line. yeah. Right. And what's particularly special about this machine? Uh, the big speciality about this machine is that the machine is easy to change over. Mm -hmm. So we can go from one format to another, uh, you know, within say 15 minutes yeah. and uh, without any tools. Yeah. Uh, the other big part of uh, advantage that this one offers is flexibility. Yeah. Now, you know, I mean in factories, sometimes plants change and, you know, products uh, have to undergo some change. Yeah. So actually the machine can even be reconfigured to do a completely different product yeah. if ever, you know, in future uh, something uh, need like that arises. Mm -hmm. So that's the uh, big advantage. And you think there's quite a bit, lot of demand for this sort of machine here in Thailand? Yeah, with the 300 baht scheme, uh, oh, I think yes. uh, this becomes uh, an attractive option for people to consider to automate their end of line production yeah. because usually upstream, uh, you know, is already quite automated, yeah. but at the downstream people do have a uh, possibility to use uh, labor, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, as the labor becomes more expensive or difficult to get, yeah. you know, I mean, the machines like these become more attractive. Yeah. So you expect to sell a lot more this year, especially with the increase in the wage? Yeah, I mean, we do see that the interest in uh, end of line automation is increasing. So, yeah, hopefully that uh, interest results into some demand. Yeah. Have you been getting a lot of interest here at Pulpac? Uh, yeah, I mean, yesterday was a bit slow, but today has been quite a good day. And uh, we do have uh, people uh, stopping by here and, uh, you know, wanting to know about the equipment we have displayed. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this time, uh, you know, all the equipment that we have on the stand yeah. relates to end-of-line automation. End of line automation. So, yeah, so it is, uh, yeah, interesting for people to see. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans for any new developments in machinery? Oh, I mean, that's always an ongoing thing. And, uh, you know, I mean, with machinery, of course, uh, you know, sometimes you have one big breakthrough, yeah. uh, you know, and then that uh, sort of uh, resets uh, the whole industry. Right. But more importantly, you know, I mean, there is always incremental progress, you know, which relates to how reliable the machines become or how easier uh, the machines become to use or to change or to adapt to different product needs. So that is always an ongoing process. What would you say is the latest big development that you've seen in this, this, this sector? I mean, the latest big development is with the pick and place technologies because uh, usually, you know, I mean, uh, it was uh, rigid containers, which was, uh, you know, uh, the key containers in the market. But as the flexible uh, laminates or containers uh, made out of flexible laminates is uh, becoming more popular right. because they are lower in cost, you know, so handling them for automation has been a big move yeah. in the industry. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for example, with this equipment, we are showing right now for rigid container like a can. Yeah. But similar application we can do for flexibles also, like for bags or for doy packs mm -hmm. and uh, case packing them or, yeah. you know, automating the end of line for that. I suppose flexible packages present, you know, additional challenges of the solid packages don't. Like, yes, that yeah. for sure, that for sure, yeah, because the laminates, you know, do not uh, behave always the same as a rigid container will do mm -hmm. and uh, their orientation could change, you know, so they do, uh, you know, actually give us more challenge, mm -hmm. but yeah, we do have the technologies to handle them, yeah. I suppose it's developments in pressure sensors and gripping and... Yes, I mean, uh, we have to be able to collate them first of all, get them into the right configuration for which we use different kind of infit systems, you know, and uh, then of course with the sensors we can see the line condition and then obviously use the right uh, pickup head or uh, gripping technology to pick and place them, you know. If something does not lend itself very well to pick and place, then we might have to use a different way to, you know, collate them and put them into a case or a box. What sort of different ways have you got? I mean, uh, you know, here what we have on display is a RSC case, you know, or sometimes people refer to it as a American case, right. which is, you know, what you erect the case and then you load into the, the product into the case. Right. Uh, but, you know, on the other hand here, we have what we call a wraparound technology, right. you know, where we would form the collation 
and then we would wrap the product, uh, wrap the case around it. I see. Yeah. You know, so so that's sort of a different technology. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking to us. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.